I, I may be kind of excessive. He, Michael may be a I bit mean, excessive, excessive here. I, I probably am being a little excessive. I'm just giving you all. <laughs> Paul asked me my biggest turnoff. <laughs> so I'm giving you he all. He can't even say the yes. word. He has to spell it. Spell I'm giving the you word. all my biggest turnoff. What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Michael. And this is the Paul, Paul and Morgan, the Paul and Morgan show. show. Yeah. Except. Morgan's not here, but you got an M back there and also plant the M with Michael. Michael and I realized we haven't done an Ask Christian Guys video in honestly too long. And Paul and I, the last type of video we did like this. It did pretty good. Last year it was the Christian Modesty Bikinis video. And that went kind of... It went viral. It went viral. So Christian Guys share their biggest turnoffs in a woman. Guys, we realized this is, this is a uh. little bit zesty controversial yes but we're going there we're praying that God would give us wisdom but we're okay with taking yeah. on some topics and we do think that Christian girls that are wanting yeah. to, to see a Christian guy's perspective they're gonna be able to hear us because Paul I think a lot of times in culture and society people are afraid to share certain things because they don't want to offend someone else they don't yeah. want to hurt someone's feelings and this is not about hurting someone's feelings this is not about making someone feel bad. If anything, I think a lot of you all are actually wanting to begin doing things in your life, adding things in your life, or maybe taking some things away that are more beneficial in just day-to-day -day relationships. Yeah, yeah, we're not concerned about being politically correct. We wanna be raw, authentic, real, unfiltered. Come on. Michael is no stranger. He's been on many videos now, and he has his own channel. Strongly encourage you to check it out. I will link it below. Just Michael Spann, so all you have to put in. M-I-C-H-A-E-L-S-P-A-N-N. -N. Booyah. Mike, it's time. Dude, it's time. Dude, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling the drum roll. Ask Christian Guys! My hands are getting sweaty. <clears throat> I'm just gonna read it how it was Moist. written. Biggest turnoff in a woman. Ooh, man. This, if anything, we're, we're, we're encouraging you all, we're giving you all our opinion, our preference. Enough of the pitter-patter. What is it, Mike? We're going into the meat, okay? Number one. When ladies either perform bodily functions, I'll say belch would be one of those. <laughs> the other one, I don't even like saying the word. She, and that, to, I'll go at toot, okay? Okay, that, that, that's, that's, a, a, good, that's a good synonym. We cringe a little bit when we're pursuing a woman and those type of words are coming out of her mouth a lot. It is just kind of a, a unsettling. I think it's unsettling. unsettling. Like I think that'd be a good word to describe. It's just unsettling. If I'm pursuing someone, or even if I got into a point where I'd be married, I wouldn't want that to be the daily vocabulary. It's one thing if it happens once in a while, but it's it's another thing if it's consistent talk day after day and it's a certain type of behavior. I say this in love. Have this be a reminder to you all and an encouragement to make sure make sure you're acting in in good decorum. Yes. Should we give a an example? Here we go. Let me set this up for you. Michael, you're out on a date. It's going well. You've gone on a few dates now. Mm -hmm. And she says, oh, Michael, it smells like a big fart. What is your you reaction? Said it. You said I it. said it and I apologize. What I, is your reaction to that? First and foremost, I wouldn't respond in anger and disgust. Good. However, I mean, I, and again, that wouldn't be like a deal breaker. Like, oh my goodness, I cannot spend time with this person anymore. So, it's, it's one thing you all, if it slips up, we all do and say things sometimes that are going to dis displease someone else. We can't worry about that. However, if they use that word in their vocabulary yeah. day after day, then of course I would address it in a, in a loving way and just tell them, look, I don't really appreciate that word. It <laughs> kind of grosses me out. <laughs> I guess that would be the best way to describe it. I mean, it's not a sin saying the word. I, again, this is my personal opinion. It does kind of gross me out and I'm not the biggest fan of it. And that's what I'd say. And then hopefully that would, that would rectify the situation. It's not that big of a deal, but if you like someone enough and you're really like falling for that person, I'd be willing to kind of alter some of the things I do. This really happened for Morgan and I. Morgan would sometimes, when we were just having fun, or maybe I would do something that kind of got under her skin a little bit, her common phrase was, and I don't really like saying it either, but was, Paul, you big fart. <laughs> and from as soon as she said it, the oh. uh, as soon as she said it the first time, I was kind of like, Ew, I don't like that. But I'm not gonna say something. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's just, a one time. I mean, it's, maybe it's a rare occurrence. If it, it, it only happens once or twice, it's not that big of a deal. So you didn't address it the first or second no, time, right? No, but I, it wasn't know. long before yeah. I, I brought you eventually it had to, to our attention. Yeah. I was kind of like, Morgan, when you say fart or when you are talking very just loosely about bodily functions, it kind of grosses me out. <laughs> How could you say no to that? She said, Paul, I'm gonna try not to, to say that as much. She still says it occasionally, but not near as much as before. That's, that's not that's showing love. Though, showing, you know? like, that is the way that she's shown me love. And I'm sure there's been things that she's asked you. Maybe you could totally, do some things differently, and, and there's things that you're working out and trying to like you know rectify in your relationship. Right? It totally goes both ways. Yeah, Michael. Fart, fart, oh. fart, 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 fart. <laughs> no! <laughs> Morgan, you 
obviously were he overhearing some of this conversation. What do you have to say to yourself to justify that? That was funny. It, it, it was in a gross way. It was kind of funny. Okay, bye everyone. Well, no, no, you came in. You did that. He gave you props, Morgan, about how you how you all had a discussion about using the word oh, F A R T. And Morgan, I know you need to leave, but I shared a personal message to them of us, of you, your kind of go-to nickname for me when you were a little feeling a little zesty. I'm probably a big fart head. Yes, I came to you and in a very sincere way. Said Morgan, when yes, you called, yes, you did. What went through your mind when I said that? I obviously understood that it's probably a little unattractive, but also I said when you fart, <laughs> you that can you spell it out, please? Every right <laughs> you spell to it call out? you that. <laughs> Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> She's not really helping out her no, not at all. <laughs> but I understood and I was like, okay, Polly, I'll try my best and I've gotten way And better. he gave you props and he and said you've gotten you way props. better. Gotta go, got a meeting, bye. Bye, Morgan. Even though you did that, we love yeah, you. Yeah, we, we, we forgive you. Okay, we forgive you. Thank you. I love you, baby. Wow, so that was extremely unexpected. So the second one that we have, it's important to both Michael and I, Michael, what is it? And this will be a little more introspective, but ladies, one of the things that I think can, can, can be a turnoff to guys is when someone is so inwardly focused, they're not engaged with our lives and their significant other's lives. You know what's one of the things that impresses me, Paul, like when I'm engaged in a conversation? But when they start asking you questions like about your family, about your heritage, I mean, that to me is like, that that's just, awesome. It just, it just shows, shows that they, they care about yeah, other people. They're genuinely interested in your life. That goes a long way. Us guys going out on a date, we want to know about you, and we're going to ask about you, and we just expect that to be returned on some level. Exactly. Is it too much to ask? Is it too much to ask, Mike? You know what? I don't think it's too much to it's ask. It's not too much. You know, you know, you're a good kid, really good. As long as I'm around, you'll still be second best see. So, Michael, we shared two things that our turnoffs, we shared them in love. I encourage you all, give give us some grace too, you know? Like, you yep. may disagree with us, you may think this is ridiculous, but know that we're saying this in a way that is, we're trying to encourage, and also we're giving you all our personal opinions, our preference. Again, this is not something, if you do this, you're somehow a heathen. We're just saying, look, if you do this, then... It could be a turnoff. <laughs> it, 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 it could be a turnoff. <laughs> we're both like butter. We're both like we're butter, both you know like why? Butter. Because we're on a roll. We are on a roll and we're going with it. We're going with it. So guys, comment below. We truly want to know your thoughts on this. What do you think about the turnoffs that Michael and I shared? Do you have any personal experiences with that? Do you guys have any differing thoughts? Do you feel like Michael and I were too harsh? That we were right on point? We hope that the comment section can be a place of encouragement. Give it a thumbs up if you uh. appreciate Michael being on the show. Come on. Thank you all for letting me be on the Paul and Morgan show. And check out my show after this show. Yo, we'll link it below. I've been on Michael's show. I was just on last week. Yeah, he's on last Friday. So if you haven't seen that, check out last Friday. Paul talks about toxic masculinity. You got to check it out. It's good stuff. Yeah. So I'll link that video below as well. Boom, baby. Uh, Love it, dude. Come on. Hey, Mike, thanks for being on the Tell show. Tell you what, this is a good show. Lightning struck. Lightning. Lightning struck. Struck and, and made a masterpiece. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day. We'll catch you again very soon. Have Peace. hope. And be free. Dude, the hair's flopping. Got the well, Clark Kent. How's the curl looking? Got the Clark Kent going on. It's we both kind of got the. Okay. We do. I, I, curl? I saw Michael earlier and I was like, Michael, your hair is curlier oh, and than normal. And got then the this Clark happened. Kent style. Okay. So, it's time to be Superman. Boom. Superman! Uh.